in an eye-opening new poll in Iowa. That's right. Republican frontrunner Donald Trump is seeing his favorability soar, while on the Democratic side, Bernie Sanders is closing the gap with Hillary Clinton. And in the meantime, one of Clinton's aides finds herself in the spotlight. We'll have more on that with Kristen Welker in a moment. But first, NBC national correspondent Peter. Xander, breaking down the poll numbers for us. Peter, good morning to you. Hey, Savannah, good morning to you. These days, it is good to be a political outsider. In Iowa, Bernie Sanders now within striking distance of Hillary Clinton, whose support there has dropped by 20 points over just the last few months. And then Donald Trump, he's holding on to his lead there, but retired neurosurgeon Ben Carson right behind him. And if you combine caucus goers' first and second choices, Trump and Carson are tied. Call it the summer of political discontent. The two biggest anti-establishment candidates, Donald Trump and self-described socialist Bernie Sanders, flying high. With Hillary Clinton hitting a new low, her support in Iowa dropping below 50% for the first time this year. The new Des Moines Register poll showing the gap between Clinton and Sanders down to seven points, compared to more than 40 points just three months ago. This is not anti-Hillary Clinton. This is pro-Bernie Sanders and pro a message that says enough is enough. And like the candy bars handed out at last week's DNC meeting, more Democrats are riding with Biden, who showed up unannounced at a local party event this weekend in Delaware that his late son Bo would often attend. In Iowa, 14% of likely caucus goers would vote for Biden, even though, at least for now, he's not a candidate. 